Marvin Tal. Thank you. Uh, a couple of quick questions. My understanding is that the uh, the amendment that allowed for immediate rental of purchase units is about to expire. Is that sometime in December? I think it's December 14th or 15th, something Okay, like that. does that apply to the association too, or no, just to? No. And my understanding the is that- The language is very specific. It does not apply to the association. So the so if the association buys a unit, we can immediately uh, rent. But if, it, if uh, and somebody else buys a unit, they have to wait one year. Correct. Okay, thanks. Um, a few months ago, I had mentioned that the roadway is deteriorating. And, and the rate of deterioration, I believe, is increasing. The cracks are getting bigger, there are more cracks, and I've lately noticed some actual buckling of the roadway. Uh, the longer we wait to fix it, the more expensive it's going to be. So I strongly recommend you include, you, each of you go out, take a look at the roadway, see what the condition it is, it's in, get some people in, in here to, to make some uh, uh, bids and include that in the 2015 budget because it's, it's getting bad. Thank you. The next person will be Frank. Okay, Frank. <laughs> um, uh, I've seen behind my building we have a lot of Comcast cable hanging out there uh, right, uh, uh, Baldo. Um, I sent pictures to uh, to Soshi I sent pictures to her uh, I don't know what you're going to whether uh, you talk with Comcast or how the procedure, what procedure you have in place for this thing. It, it's been for quite some time, actually. And uh, since I've been living since 2005, so it, it hasn't been uh, that way. Okay. And the other thing I have is inside the highways. Okay. We have it on uh, my building, a lot of thing going on. It's always dirty. Okay. Um, I have even saw a uh, uh, pen, pen on the floor. Okay. Uh, I don't know who dropped the paint, okay, whether the, the, the person was moving in, moving out, okay? And I have a lot of uh, things going on on the, on the walls as well. And they assessed me last time to get this thing, to get the, this building uh, in shape. Now, so if we destroy them or you don't, we don't have, uh, I don't know, that, I believe we should have cameras in, uh, inside, at least we know who's doing this thing, okay? I don't know if it's vandalism or whatever it is, okay? But I'm paying for it, okay? That's my concern, I don't want to, pay uh, again for it because of your assessment for that, okay? So I have another thing which uh, I believe I, I, I forgot. Uh, oh, um, why are we charging more for corner unit than actually the, uh, not, let's say you have a 2-2 two -two, uh, unit and the corner unit pays much more than actually the regular unit, why? Because the documents call for it to be a proportionate share based on square footage of your unit. Sure. My question to you so now, my question to you now, do I use more, more of the, of the common areas? Do I use more uh, of the, of the view? Do, why should I pay more of the... Because that's how your documents are written. That's why. It's uh, a percentage, Frank. No, no, no. It's I a understand. percentage which of square footage. Which I understand. understand. Those people who do this thing, sometimes they don't understand well. And board, board members sometimes have been, they go a little bit cookie. So, okay. And so we can, that's something we can change. Why should I pay more? Because my unit has a little bit more for it. I already paid more for it when I purchased it. Why should I pay more? Okay. So now my question to you, the people who have late view, should they pay more? Or the people who's, a, who's a, on first floor, they have the roof. I don't have a roof. Should they pay more? Not only that, the seat You have 30 more seconds, Frank. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Why should I... The, the entire... Frank, you have 30 more seconds. What, why should I pay more? Those, those are my questions. Thank you. Thank you. Frank. Did you ever ask yourself... To answer your question, Frank, about the Comcast, um, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys are aware, we have a lot of cables 
wires that's loose around the buildings in front or in the back. So if you see board Comcast hanging around around the Bordeaux, they doing a survey around the whole complex because they're gonna go to each building and redo all the wires from the back of the unit or the front of the unit to redo all the wires. That's why Comcast is hanging around the Bordeaux building. Okay. Thank you, Elwood. Yes. Yes, if the Bordeaux, the Edelweiss, the Heidelberg, St. Moritz, you got wires hanging out everywhere. So if you go around the Yorkshire, if you go around, you'll see you see a whole bunch of orange wire. They doing the survey. That's what they doing. Thank you. Not only that, but if you take a look at the lawn, you'll see how they've marked all the lawns for all the electric, the telephone, uh, your water lines. Everything has been marked for them prior to digging to redo those cables. But while you're there, for, let me ask you something else. Now, um, for people who's moving in, which are the 30 bucks to move into Mulvado, uh, do you have any boxes in place have to check whether a damage has been done? Do you have an inspection, pre-inspection, after inspection with the person move? Because mm -hmm. you're, you're charging, you're charging the, uh, the, the person uh, to move it, or you will get, I don't know what you will really be doing with the money, but you, I hope it's good thing, okay? But, uh, how I, I, I actually am paying for this uh, if the person damages anything, I, I have to pay for it to get it good work. Okay? So, how what do we have in place as far as hence pre inspection, after inspection of photos? How do we know that person hasn't over the $20 actually sufficient enough to? I think I will finish with a question for you. What well, we do, Frank, anytime somebody's coming, moving in or moving out to the building, the office notify me, either whether it's Brittany or Sochi. I go over to the unit that they're going to be moving in. If they're moving in, I take the pictures of the hallway, the lobby area, and the front door, along with the unit, the door, just to make sure nothing, is, everything is all clear. Once they're officially moving, I go back and re-inspect again. I go back and notify the office and let them know what make Do you have a form that was on sign? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so when they move in, they move out, that's how it operate. Now that paint that you're talking about in your building, yeah. it happened on the first floor from the lady who moved out, which is B1Q. Okay. Okay, so she agreed to go ahead and pay for that paint that she accidentally dropped in the carpet. Uh, there's some damage done to the wall by the elevator too. I okay, to that one happened right there with a the gentleman, that's a long story, that's another story, but a gentleman who was running around inside the building. Because I pay for this thing, I want my money to be a I understand. Money. Okay. All right, the next person is Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Who is responsible for maintaining the exterior buildings? Who is responsible? The owner. Huh? Exterior. Oh, oh no. the actual. The exterior no. of the building. The reason the I'm asking is I've seen a lot of cobwebs on my window, and I've lived there for almost 10 years, and I've never seen anybody cleaning the windows. So I've put in a request to the office and I'm told that um, it's my responsibility. I cannot go outside and stand on a... You know, <laughs> You want me to go out there Don't go like that. Just give us an answer. The screen's yours. You're responsible. I'm not talking about the screen. I'm talking about the windows. Yeah, that's yeah, around the window jam. Outside? You live really on the third floor. How do you, what, you go up there and jump up there? And, and, how, do and how do you expect the association to do it either? But we can't jump up that. We're not going. Uh, yeah. Your insurance is a lot. What? Yeah. What? 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 Technically, it doesn't. We do, but it doesn't. Well, I have cobwebs in my windowsill, and I can't go up there and allow them to clean it because yes, okay. it's the exterior. When we saw our cherry pickers, what the hell? No, but we're not going to use the cherry pickers to clean the cobwebs. That's a waste. Really? Yeah. So if I go out there and I paint the the windows blue. That's okay? No. 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 Okay. Remember what it says in your documents. You are responsible for your unit, for the screens, the glass, keeping them clean, whatever. Not the association. Okay. We're responsible so for if I go outside and I break a leg, do I charge the association? Not, I didn't hear you, Ron. Right? <laughs> no, 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 well, you break the leg, it you comes under the general it. liability policy of the association okay. if it's done on association property. All right, thank you. All right, uh, Ms. Uh, David, uh, could you discuss that with uh, with George when he's available? I think that I, I think that that really needs to look, be looked into. Excuse me, Marcia, yes, I didn't get on the list, but I do have a question in reference to that. I live on the first floor, and 
I live, I live on the first one. I live towards the back. And that has a lot of cobwebs. There are a lot of spiders and whatnot back there. Why um, the gardener doesn't come by? It used to be before, excuse me, when AMG was here, they would come by and they would spray something once in a while. Since you guys have been here, nobody comes by. I use the, the broom. You still have the same uh, exterminator company. But they don't come by. They don't come by the garden. Here every Thursday. Yeah, but they don't come by to the garden. Have you have you called it in? But they, I in? never called them before. They always came by by themselves. They they only come by in service per request. So call it in. They'll come by on a Thursday and they'll do what you need to be done. Okay, we'll do. So I mean that's your contract with Orkin. I you know. Yeah, it's the same contract. It hasn't changed. <laughs> All right, it's 8.12. I move to adjourn. Yep. I second it. No objection. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Have a Thanksgiving. Have a good Thanksgiving, everybody. Have a I'm going to